If I catch any lizard squad, I'ma beat y'all lizards on my mama. You fucking with my game, G? I pay good money. You lizard, lame, goofy ass bitches. When I catch one of you, I'm beating the fuck out y'all. And that's on phone now. The fuck is you talking about? Yo, what's up, guys? It's Yogi. And today I have a brand new video for you guys. Today's video is pretty interesting because it's on the new map Rupture. And as you guys know, my last video was talking about this thing. Now, basically, we were watching the trailer in my last video, and we talked about potential mechs or robots playable on this map. Because we've seen gameplay on the trailer, but we didn't know how they work, how to get them, and things like that. Well, today I. I have gameplay and, and you know I just basically have all this information to give you guys and also just give you guys tips and tricks with these robots and things like that and how to use them correctly because they are very weak let me just say that that's one thing for sure but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like the video like make sure you guys stay healthy and let's roll that intro Alright guys, so you guys will be seeing gameplay, you guys probably already saw gameplay at the beginning, but I forgot to say that, so yeah, so, so, you know, just there you go, for those of you that wanted to know. Basically, the robots, you don't need to get any score streaks or nothing like that, doesn't matter how many kills you get. Literally, you spawn, and I think there's two on each side of each spawn. So each side has two playable mechs or robots that you can get into. Now, let me just start off by saying, once you get into these mechs or robots, they are really, really slow. They are very hard to move around in. Also seeing players is pretty hard like in this gameplay There's one dude just with like a knife just coming up under me and knifing me to death But you know that's just an example for those of you to know that it's really hard to see in this mech robot thingy Now another thing to tell you guys is that this thing is very very weak. It's so weak I can't even understand I, don't even get me started on how weak it is. All right. It's just weak I believe like two rockets from the XM52 or like one rocket destroys this thing. So you know just so you guys know like on average this thing is not pretty strong so you don't want to get into these things all the time. But if you do get into these just know that you can use them the right way. So once you hop into one of these things you have a minigun and a rocket launcher. Now the minigun... <sighs> I don't know what to say guys, this thing is really, really weak. I mean, I don't know how else to say this. It's really, really weak. Like, I can barely use this thing. It's a hit marker machine, guys. Do not use the minigun. It's very, very weak. You will not get any kills. Trust me, as you guys can see in this gameplay, all you get is assists. Literally, that's, that's all you get from using this thing. It's not helpful at all. So if you do use this thing, you have to know how to use it, how to move with it on the map, and you just have to master everything. Basically just practicing with the robot, practicing the map, knowing where the traffic routes are, just knowing all of these things. And then once you are in this robot, do not use the minigun, always use the rocket launcher. For anything, for killing enemies, for killing other mecha robots, or for doing anything. Just always use the rocket launcher and if you're reloading, that's when you can start using the minigun. But whenever you have rockets, use them. They are probably the most important thing on this mech robot. Like, I don't even know why they added the minigun on there. They could have just took that off and added on two rockets, but that would have been too OP. Or maybe adding in some more health would have been too OP. So that's why I'm really cool with, you know, that they didn't make this too overpowered. Because think about it, if it was overpowered, everybody would try to get in this thing and use it and walk around the map. And, you know, it would just basically be like Titanfall. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. That would be pretty annoying, but then at the same time, it would bring something new to the map. But the main reason why they actually added this in to the map is because World at War had tanks and things like that in the map so they wanted to replace that with something futuristic that is why we have robots so yeah, guys I mean that's basically it. I don't know what else to talk about just know that these robots are really really weak and honestly they're not worth getting into these mechs or robots they're really not I would rather go on foot and kill enemies and if you do see a mech or a robot they really they are really hard to lock on to you and you know move around because they're very very slow so if I were you and you've been seen by a robot just hope they don't shoot rockets and just run away honestly just jump up and slide and you'll be good because I've been running away from these things and it's pretty easy to do it you guys will see in the gameplay right here before the second half that you know I get the uplink ball and there's a robot right in front of me and I actually juke the shit out of him and you know it's just it's easy to juke these things basically it's like being in a monster tank and trying to kill flies but the monster tank is super super weak think of it like that I don't know guys I'm really trying to make this easier for some of those to understand because I know a lot of people don't understand really well but I mean this is the best way I can tell it I guess so guys my end result or my end opinion is just don't get in this thing there's no point in getting in it I guess you could get in it for fun or maybe if you and your team do find a tactical advantage with this thing then maybe there is a reason or a point to get in it but so far to me personally being a solo player playing the DLC there is no point in getting in these mechs or robots 
I would get in them at the beginning of the match just to see how good I do. I'd get a couple kills and then I'll drop out of it. Because there's honestly no point in staying in it. You're going to die soon. These things are really easy to destroy like I've said. So there really isn't any point in staying in these mechs or robots or things like that. So guys, that's basically my end result. Don't get in it. It's not worth it. Only if you want to have fun, then just go ahead. Get in as much as you want. But yeah, guys, I guess that's basically it. I just wanted to talk about this because I've talked about this in my trailer preview video. And I didn't know that the map pack DLC was going to come out on that day. So I just wanted to make it up to you guys and just show you guys some mech robot gameplay anyways you guys i hope you've all enjoyed if you did make sure you guys leave a like for the video if you think the video is likable make sure you guys stay healthy and i'll see you all on the next one